Good morning. Once again, thank you and welcome very much for another beautiful Sunday that the Lord has made. We want to welcome you uh, to our Sunday service. And uh, today being the last Sunday of the month in, at Hope Church, we normally do a creative Sunday. So whatever we are doing today is going to be done in a creative way. We will come out of our normal uh, teaching, our normal uh, um, dancing, how we do everything, we do it in a creative way. But before we do all that, we want to start by a word of prayer. So let's, uh, children, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Lord, for another beautiful Sunday, Lord, that you've allowed us to see. And as we start our Sunday, Lord, we pray that you'll speak to our hearts, that you will lead us, that you'll be with us, protect us and our parents. Be with us as we learn. May you, Lord and Father, uh, help our hearts to understand your word and practice what that which we learn. In Jesus' name, and everyone shouts, Amen. Amen. So, um... <clears throat> Uh, I just wanted to start by giving you an answer for the question that I had asked last week and uh, it's quarters which you can find it from the book of Romans chapter 16 and verse number 23. So just go to your Bibles and look it up and uh, you learn more about that. So right about now we want to welcome you from wherever you're watching us from, uh, parents, uh, children. Uh, as we are going to do a lot of things in a creative way, we just want to uh, make sure that you have the right tools, the right equipment that you need for this Sunday, and just be ready for today. So we want to welcome the praise and worship team and the dancers as they uh, take us through the next session. Santeni. Just bounce with me. Step on the enemy, step on the enemy. 
This side, don't do it this. You do it this way. One, two, three, four. In a way, I couldn't teach me. Go. One, two, three. In a way, I couldn't teach me. Confidence. Get what you. Confidence. Get what you. Confidence. Get what you. I know my father got me. Thank you so much for your time. Be good, bless you. I mean, the last time I was here um, about five, sun- four Sundays ago. But I'm so glad to be here to see you guys again. And I believe you've had a wonderful time with all our Sunday school teachers who've been with us throughout, uh, throughout this month. It's the last Sunday, and uh, we are so blessed that God has been with us till this day. And I've really enjoyed what we've been learning, and we've been learning about one another. And the Bible is, has been reminding us that we need each other, that as Christians, we cannot do anything without one another, that we have God, but not only that, we need to have each other. So I'm so blessed, and today I have two of my good friends who we worship with here at Hope Church Lovington, and one of them is on my right, the other one on my left, you've been seeing her leading us in worship. So this is what you're going to do. I'm going to tell them to introduce themselves, they will tell us their names, and they will tell us which school they go to, they will tell us which class they are in, and then you're going to talk about what they've been learning throughout this month. So I will start on my right and I will ask my good friend, I want to tell us his name, so I'm going to ask him to tell us our name. Uh, tell us, what's your name? Joel Kipchirchir. Joel Kipchirchir, wow. Which school do you go to? Greenwood, Greenwood Academy. Academy. Lovely, which class? Five. In class five? Yes. Wow, so you're in upper Primary, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Yes, that's upper primary. So you've become a big boy. Hmm? Cindy? Yes. Anytime you're going to go to high school, are you ready? Yes. You're looking forward? Yes. Ah, good. Now I'll come back to Joel later on and he will tell us what he's been learning. Now on my left, we've been seeing her lead us in worship, but some of you may not know her name. You probably don't know which school she goes to and you probably don't know the class. So... She's going to tell us. My name is Florence Fanny. I'm 12 years old. I study in Waldorf Academy. Mm-hmm. And I'm in class 7. In class 7. Lovely. Now, you're going to tell me, um, who is your Sunday school teacher? Cheriko. Cheriko. Ah, is he a Nimkali? Yes. You want Nimkali for class? Yes. Ah, if you don't have a Bible, if you don't have a notebook, what does he do? He chases you away out, out of class? Yes. Ah, that is Teacher Rico. All parents, I hope you've noted Teacher Rico. He's one of our teachers in class five and six, a very good teacher, and he makes sure our children carry a Bible, 
and a pen. So this month we've been learning about one another. And the first week we learned about uh, that we are the church. And then the second week we learned about standing with one another. And then on the third week, teacher Gideon taught us about sharing with one another. And then last week, teacher Jose taught us about having godly friends. Now today we're going to ask uh, Flo and also we'll ask Joel. They will tell us a few things they've been learning this month. But not only that in Sunday school, but also they've been learning some, uh, a lot through Awana at home. Awana is a Bible club uh, that happens here at Hope Church Lovington. And we are so blessed because it disciples children. And uh, Joel is going to tell us something he's been learning through Awana at home. So Joel, what, have you, what does Awana stand for? Awana stands for approved. approved workmen are not ashamed. Approved workmen are not ashamed. So have you been learning something throughout this month? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us uh, something you've learned in the course of this month through Awana at home? I've been learning about being patriotism. It, it means being loyal to God. Okay. We are being taught to be loyal to God. That wherever we are, we need always to stand for God. How, how are the lessons? Good. Good. You enjoy them? Yes. Good. Who was helping you at home? My dad. Your dad was helping you. Ah, yes. lovely. So, Joel has learned through Awana at home because we do Awana every Saturday. But since we were not meeting, we took it at home. So, Awana has helped us. And our children have continued to learn. And it's good to hear that uh, Joel's dad has been helping him. So I encourage you also to be there to also help your children. So, Florence, tell us something you've learned this month in Sunday school. Joel has told us about our one at home. You've also done our one at home? Yes. Good. Now tell us about Sunday school. What have you learned throughout I've this learned month? I've learned sharing with one another. Mm -hmm. And that we sh when we share with one another, it makes God happy. And also the people we share with, they are yeah. also happy with us. Ah, okay. Have, has somebody ever shared something with you? Yes. What was it? A book. A book? Yes. Good. Storybook. A storybook? Yes. Okay. And have you ever shared something with somebody? Yes. Good. So that's what we want our children to learn about one another. So today we are going to do a quick finish of what we've been learning. And the, today we are going to, I'm going to ask us a question. How can we do all these things we've learned about one another. And today my answer to us is we need to love one another. Let's read John chapter 13, verse 15. Joel is going to read for us John chapter 13, verse 15. And also Florence will read for us later on, Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Joel? It says, By this everyone will love, know the, that you are my disciple if you love one another. Thank you, Joel. You see what the Bible has told us? The world will know that we are disciples of God if we love one another. So that's very, very important that we should love one another so that the whole world will know that we are followers of Jesus. So with love, we can be able to do everything like forgiving one another, loving one another, caring for one another. It all starts with this love. So, Florence, read for us Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. And this was, is what Jesus told the people who are listening to him in the book of Matthew. He was summarizing the commandments. So Florence will read for us Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Therefore, I tell you, every sin and blasphemy scatters. Therefore, I tell you that sin and blasphemy will be forgiven 
people, but their blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Oh, I think that's the wrong verse. Maybe I got it wrong. Florence, just help me. Florence, Matthew 12, 31. Oh, that was the wrong verse. But, sorry, uh, maybe what this verse says is we need to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Sorry about that. That's the verse which I wanted us to read that Jesus told the, the disciples. We need to love one another, but also we need to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. So, before we finish, we're going to do a small exercise about love. So, it's a word search. I'm going to give Florence and Joel only two minutes to look for a few words that describe what love is. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to ask Joel to stand up and Florence to stand up. I'm going to give them each paper. Just come on this side. Help me with your microphones. Now, I want you, come on this side, Joel. Come behind the stool. I want you to look for the words that are down there that describe what love is. And you have only two minutes to do that. You have two minutes to do that. Okay, 30 seconds gone. Forty-five. Now let me be those teachers who help class and show them something. Hmm. Have you seen something over here up? from here upward. And let me also be a good teacher who is going to also help somebody else. Have you seen something here? Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Somewhere there, there's something. You have one minute left. Yeah. Over here, not. Good. They're doing well. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. And if you don't finish, you'll, help, you'll tell your parents to help you. As we've been telling you parents, please help our children during Sunday school. Okay, I'm seeing another one there. In the next 15 minutes, I'm seeing another one somewhere here, going down, it starts with letter T. Okay, good. And we will finish there. Lovely. Good. So tell us, uh, Joel and uh, Florence, just some of the words about love. Love is, tell me, I've seen you have some of them there. Just tell me two. Not rude. Love is not rude. Hopes. And hopes. Finally, love, love, is patient. love is patient and love is kind. So this is, let me show you how it looks like. Let me show you how it looks like. It looks like this. This is how it looks like. So they've been looking for words that tell us what love is. So for our homework, for homework this week, read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. What? 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it talks about love and all the descriptions of what love is. So I want you to read and write down all the descriptions of love. 
and share with your brother, share with your sister, and make sure you practice what love is. And our memory verse today is from the book of John chapter 13, verse 35. And it says, By this all men will know my, you are my disciples if you do what? Love one another. So, that's our memory verse for this week and we are so blessed that we've been able to share the word of God with you throughout this month and today Joel was here to help us. Now I'm going to give you some extra two pencils. You. you can keep that pen and also you write a lot of compositions. You have two more pencils and make sure you keep writing, you keep writing and you keep taking notes when you, lis when you listen to the word of God. So we've come to the end of our lesson today and we are so blessed. And remember to do what? To love one another. Let's say it's uh, Joel and Florence. Let's tell the people watching us on TV. One, two, three, go. Love one another. God bless you so much. If you would like to give, our till number is there. Our uh, Lipan Mpesa. If you want to write a check, the bank details are there. Please send your tithes and offerings and they will get to us. And we've been so blessed that you're here with us. So thank you so much once again for tuning in. God bless you so much and have a